National Police Day is celebrated for the 65th time in Libya. In a parade organized by the Ministry of Interior, new recruits marched around Martyr Square in Tripoli. The aim was to show Libyans that the internationally recognized government in the capital is building up its security institutions. With their shiny new cars and smart uniforms, watched by leaders of the government of national accord and onlookers, the ceremony was broadcast on most TV channels here. I was very impressed. Our only wish is to have a good police force and army that protects citizens. We want an end to war, to militias, and a safe and stable Libya. But the Tripoli government has a lot of work to do. Fighting late last month between rival militias around Tajura, east of Tripoli, resulted in the deaths of at least four men. The infighting highlighted the need for the government to come up with a plan to rein the militias in. The security challenges we face are unprecedented. The widespread availability of weapons and the political divisions have made the burden heavy on our police force. In this regard, we have initiated a training course here and abroad to improve our capabilities. The difficult security challenges facing GNA leaders have caused them to turn to their Turkish friends. Turkey's leaders in Ankara are helping the GNA build up their military and police forces. Training courses both in Libya and in Turkey are part of a maritime and security agreement signed between the two governments last November. Ankara is backing the GNA in its conflict with eastern-based forces of warlord Khalifa Haftar. Back at the parade, Young recruits tell us they want to help improve insecurity facing many Libyans. I decided to join the police force to help protect our citizens. We have to build up our police force and get rid of armed groups. We must work to make our country a better place. UN-facilitated political talks are currently underway, but the widespread proliferation of weapons following years of fighting and political divisions remain a threat to the country's security and stability. Malik Trena, Al Jazeera, Tripoli.